Hey guys, shocking myself more than anyone, I am back to review an episode of Firefly, and I just did a Firefly video last week. Maybe I can finish this thing with some dignity intact, we will see. If you're just now tuning in, I've been reviewing every episode of the 2002 cult sci-fi television series Firefly, and today I am talking about the episode Heart of Gold. Before I get into the review -y part of this video, I will quickly cover the plot elements in case you haven't seen the episode, or if you have and it has been a while. We open on a desert world where a jerk dude comes to a house and threatens to kidnap a pregnant woman's unborn baby who he claims is his own child. It turns out that this is a whorehouse and the madam running the joint is old friends with Anara. She contacts Anara. Anara passes on their need for assistance to the rest of the crew. They are willing to help out. And then the rest of the episode is basically the group preparing for war with the jerk and his people, and then the actual war with the jerk and his people. Mal sleeps with the madam. She gets killed. Inara is sad that Mal slept with the madam, but angry that the madam died. Then after all is said and done, Inara tells Mal that she is leaving the ship. Cue credits. So this episode is just about the closest we get to any kind of resolution on the Malnara relationship. I've been saying this whole time that any hints that these two might get together are kind of bittersweet because we never actually get to see it happen. This episode not only addresses it, but makes this subplot into a key feature of this episode. If we didn't have the movie, then I would say this tidally takes care of it. Mal comes really close to flat out admitting his feelings for Inara, which she's known that he's had, and he's known that he's had, and I think he has known that she knew. So that's some real progress there. But then Anara leaves, and like I said, if we didn't have the Serenity movie to bring this back up, then I'd say this is a good cap off to that slow building relationship. It still feels like a little bit of a letdown after we've been getting teased with this couple for the whole series, but if I had to face this subplot not getting resolved, and it getting resolved in this way, I'd rather it be handled this way. And speaking of couples not getting their due, may I introduce you to Simon and Kay Lee. As I watch this episode on Netflix, despite having the episode on DVD, I feel it's easier to watch it on Netflix. Anyway, as I watched this episode on Netflix, there was a previously on Firefly segment that I don't believe is on the DVD. And in this segment, we get a fair amount of Kaylee and Simon talking kinda sorta romantically to each other from past episodes. And this would lead me to believe that these two get a fair amount of screen time in this episode. Maybe even more than Mal and Inara, since Mal Nara scarcely featured in the previously on Firefly segment. But no. Literally, the extent of their relationship in this episode is Kaylee making a snide remark about Simon not making a move with her, and then her asking Wash to tell her that she's pretty. While this scene is funny, I guess, it's not like we needed it set up with scenes from previously on Firefly. And speaking of couples, which I guess is a theme in this episode, Zoe and Wash are arguing about having a baby. I like this scene because it's not what you would expect, or at least it's not what I expected. I expected Wash to be the one who is pro-baby, and Zoe, being the cold assassin type character she is, to be against it. So it's a nice subversion of our expectations. But beyond hearing these two briefly talk about it, nothing else is really done with this either. We get a few great moments from Jane and Simon, and less moments from River and Book. But overall, the secondary characters do get some good moments, which is nice. This episode really wants to hit us in the face with the message that sexism is bad, which if you did not catch it, let me tell you again. Sexism is bad. Sexism is bad. Now, if you're getting annoyed with me saying it, let me assure you the episode was less subtle than I am right now. I don't think I've seen an episode that is this brazen with a theme since Bushwhacked. Overall, this episode was highly enjoyable, but I don't know if I would say it's a great episode. It drops the ball on too many subplots, like the Zoe Wash thing and the Simon K. Lee thing, and it really could stand to be a tad more subtle on the evils of men thing that it's got going on. But the plot is classic Seven Samurai, and it's great seeing these guys in a situation that feels like the stakes are higher than normal. I just wish that this episode had been a tad better. So that's what I thought about this episode. What did you guys think? Yay? Nay? 
Regardless of your thoughts, I hope you enjoyed my video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And most likely, I'll be back next week for the final episode of Firefly. Just to remind you, dear folks, after I finish talking about the series, I will be covering the movie and then the standalone graphic novel Serenity, A Shepherd's Tale. So you guys have that to look forward to in the coming weeks. Until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a different kind of video. Catch you later.